flows how to receive the cosmic password to enter the inner realm this is in the series of questions from the seekers one question which is the last of the three how to touch people's heart to work for peace and the other question is how to receive the password from the master to connect to the cosmic who these questions are not personal in a way they are personal but their major approach is benefit of humanity i entertain those questions in these talks that can help the humanity the persons the seekers along the inner path in many ways you have to remember one master is the awakened one is unique in many ways he is the confluence of known and unknown his outer form is known but inner form remains unknown and unknowable he bridges the two shores of existence <coughs> known and unknown shraddha and vishwas shraddha is feminine nature it is symbolic of parvati devi and vishwas is masculine it symbolizes shiva and shiva and shakti are the two energy fields that work in the existence continuously and the harmony between the two when it becomes a part of your innerness the life moves in a totally different dimension his touch the touch of the master is of the beyond he is known of that which remains unknown and unknowable he is the seen for that which remains forever unseen he is known of the unknown he is far away sound a sound very close to your ears the heartbeat which is which can be the heartbeat of the seeker which is very close to the heartbeat of the seeker along the path and it is that sound that echoes in your ears along the poet has said ek bar jo tune pukara tha mujhe taazis mere man mein basti rahi shehnai you have to be around in harmony with you remember no salvation is ever possible if you do not cooperate the process of transformation needs cooperation on the part of the seeker there is a particular message in sanskrit language bhavani shankaro vande i salute bhavani refers to devi or parvati and shankar bhavani shankaro vande shraddha vishwas rupino bhavani shankar that exist in you in the form of shraddha and vishwas both literally translated in english language becomes trust but there is trust has two aspects feminine and masculine feminine refers to your heart center and masculine refers to the energy field or the confluence of the two is shivalingam shraddha vishwas rupino yambhya 
विना न पश्यंती विदाउट दिस यू कैन नॉट एनविशन दैट विच इज यू कैन नॉट हेयर दैट विच इज द अनहर्ड साउंड द अनहत अनाहत नाद सिद्ध स्वंतस्थिमीशरम this is important you want to connect to the people for peace peace begins from your innerness innerness means the confluence where the horizontal line representing time rip intersects the vertical line which is eternity from the deepest core of your being from the lowest psycho center to the highest only when you reach the highest psycho center that is thousand petal you are in the body but body is not you you are beyond the body you have dissolved in the cosmos a cosmic existence you have a direct connection and then you get the password this is the state when one attains to the state of awakening so unless this happens peace is not an aspect of the mind peace is not a correct word the hindi word is shanti and we talk about when we have the prayers the sanatan prayers we talk about different peace rapah shanti devah shanti shanti deva shanti hi that is a long prayer which is recited in the beginning of any sanatan prayer so all is different parts of your being are in harmony you are composed of five elements the earth the water the fire the ether and are these at harmony with one another harmony means they are at peace with one another you are living with your wife with children are you at peace with your spouse are you at peace with the environment around you are you at peace with the commuters when you are driving when you are on the road so when without this your message cannot reach the people the moment you have attained this harmony between shraddha and vishwas bhavani and shankar the cosmic energy and the field of energy you have experienced the energy within you and that energy becomes the guiding force guiding principle in your actions whatever you do for living for the sustenance of the body and for any other reason that becomes the field of action this is why bhagavad gita begins in the first sutra dharma kshetre kuru kshetre why the two words have been used dharma kshetre the field of act field of religion field of dharma that which sustains dharyati iti dharma that which sustains is unless you are established in that none of your actions will be divine to so, veda vyas begins the first sutra everybody is like a blind king who does not know who is desirous full of desires as you are dharma kshetre kuru kshetre samveta yuyusava mamaka pandavaschaiv kim kurvat sanjay the blind king asks you are that blind king in your own right you are asking 
and uses technically the word dharma chetra those who are guided because kauravas are the negative part of the dharma chetra pandavas are the positive and they are both operating on one leg in the field of action have you attained to the union between bhavani and shankar shraddha and vishwas if you have established then you are established in religiosity dharma dharma dharyati iti dharma you are established in dharma the moment you are established in dharma your every action your every gesture whatsoever you do i am not putting any condition where then your message your words will reach anywhere where there is a slight opening your message becomes like the rays of sun myriad rays infinite number of rays are released from the sun when it is rising or when it is on the horizon or when it is setting if there is a slightest opening the rays of the sun can penetrate your dark caves dark state through any smallest hole a smallest minute stone so when that reaches there it brings illumination so unless you have established that within you your message cannot reach the other and peace will remain simply on a piece of paper unless you have established the peace within and the peace within is established when all the diverse elements in you different elements that constitute your existence are in harmony with one another your mind your intellect not like what shankar says man mano buddha hankar chittani naham categorically denies that i am not the mind i am not the storehouse of the memory that is egocentric identities your identity should be cosmic the problem of the chaos in the present day world is egocentric identity you are identified with your own religious narrowness or the nationalities or any other reason unless you transcendent come in the open space you have not attained that when that happens then your message becomes cosmic you simply become an instrument through which whatsoever happens reaches those who have a slightest opening and that peace within that harmony within opens up the heart center and the moment that is open you have received the cosmic password you can connect to any heart anyone whether it is sentient or insentient such is the message of the masters they can connect to anyone whether you like me or not whether you agree with me or not there are many who go on denying but yet still they do not they listen to they read the messages that are broadcast on a day to day basis under the caption tau overflows enough for now